Hi, girls and boys, and welcome to Art with Miss Davis. Today, we are gonna do these great cows. Check it out. I think these would be great on a huge painting or even paper or a canvas. Um, they are so much fun, you guys. And all they are are line, shape, and color pastel. So I'm gonna show you how to do it and I hope you enjoy yourself. So let's go ahead and look at the success criteria. Are you ready to say it with me, girls and boys? Here we go. Okay. Today, we will learn about the artist. Will you say it with me, please? Today, we will learn about the artist, Paulus Potter, so that I can understand his subject matter and use it for inspiration so that I can understand his subject matter and use it for inspiration. Today, I will practice drawing a cow that fills up my paper. Today, I will practice drawing a cow that fills up my paper. Success criteria. I know I will have it when I have drawn a cow using line so that I can create texture and background using chalk or oil pastel. I will put my name and teacher on it on my work first thing. Okay, that's a whole lot to say, but let's just try it, okay? I know I will have it when I, know it will have it when I, have drawn a cow using line, have drawn a cow using line, so that I can create texture, so that I can create texture. With oil pastel, with oil pastel, awesome guys. And what is the first thing you put on your paper? Your name and teacher. Awesome, you guys. Okay, let's get started. All right, today, our inspiration is this wonderful artist, and his name was Paulus Potter. And Paulus Potter was a Dutch artist during the Renaissance time, which we are studying now. We're moving on down our timeline. And last week when we were in art, we learned about Middle Ages. Now we're moving on. So this is the Dutch artist, Potter, who was interested in cows because um, he owned cows and he had pigs and horses and, um, and he loved animal scenes because he lived on a farm. So he was actually painting his pets and his friends. He uh, produced a hundred paintings of his work. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do this. Okay, the first thing you need to notice is that I have this on to protect my clothing and I would like you to do the same. Also, another thing too, is you might wanna make a meatball today. This is what I call them for fun. And you wet it at the sink and squeeze it out over the sink so that nobody slips down on the uh, floor. And you can use this for oil pastel because you kind of have to work oil pastel off um, of your hands. And you can also use it, I find that most people when they're cleaning their table get their hands clean. So this will be good for the table too. And you will need this, guy, this drawing guide. Check it out guys, it's a potter cow. All right, you ready to get started, girls and boys? Okay, so I'm gonna walk, not run, because it's not safe, correct? I need to walk to get whatever I need in this class. And um, I need to consider people. Remember how we talked about driving with care? How when you drive, you have to be really careful and cautious so that you are safe, a safe driver? and everybody's okay. The same thing with walking. You need to walk carefully and be mindful of the person next to you. So in art, we always kind of try to move a little slowly and make lines, lots of lines for everything. Okay, let's get started. I've got my meatball and I got a whole thing of color pastels that I'll share with other people, but um, I've got them on my table right now and I'm gonna show you how to do this. I also got a drawing guide, which you will need, and we will pick those up at the end of the class, okay? So here we go, girls and boys. This is gonna be fun. All right, so check it out. You'll look at your drawing guide like so, and it says to draw the cow's nose by making an oval near the bottom of the paper. Now, we, here we go, we're gonna talk about space. So I'm going to make a, an oval near the bottom. Here we go, here we go. Sometimes I draw it lightly until I get it right, okay? Then it says, add a curved line under the nose. There we go. Okay, and then draw, add two nostrils. These look like little moons, right? And then draw a U that gets wider like a light bulb, but make sure you leave room for the ears, guys, because we got ears and, and 
So you have to think of proportions. You don't want this to be too big or you won't have room, right? The next thing you're gonna draw, are you gonna draw two curved lines that go up. You take those up and they go towards the edges. And then you're gonna draw two little lemon shapes for the eyes. It looks like she's got eyelashes too. There we go. This is gonna be great. And then what you wanna do is go ahead and put circles in front of the eye, in the eyes. I always leave a little dot in the eyes and maybe some eyelashes, okay? It's great, okay? Okay, the next thing you wanna do is you wanna add hair on top of the head. So you wanna use a zigzag line, okay? On top of the head like that. And then you wanna draw a line for the back of the cow and the chest that is gonna go off the paper, okay? There we go. I got that. I got this. Now this is where you're going to be drawing, you know, I guess the land in the background. Okay. All right. The next thing you want to do is you want to do ears off the side of the head and leave room. These look like mangoes. Okay. Oops. That's okay. I didn't get it right. If I didn't get it right, you can paint over it. Remember we can add paper to it, but we're not going to throw paper away. Okay. I'll just go over that line again. And then you're going to use curved horns. Okay. And those are bigger. It looks like, right? My cow's looking pretty good. All right, there we go. All right, once you've gotten this far, girls and boys, what you want to do is you want to do a horizontal, uh, it's called a horizontal line or horizon line where the sun goes down. And you want to do it over here on this side, okay? And that needs to go all the way to the edge of the paper. After you get this far, this is where you want to start putting in lots of patterns and texture. So what I would say, I'm going to pick one that I like here and just go ahead and go with the texture on it. Um, okay, I think I'll go with that one. Or I kind of like the one that has all the little spotty characters on him too. All right, so I'm just gonna put lines in for grass here. Check it out. And notice how these rows of grass, all they are, are repeated lines, okay? And you wanna take those all the way up to the cow. I could do a house over there if I wanted a little house on the horizon. All it is is a square with a triangle on top right same thing and a barn door with a crisscross on it that looks pretty good not bad make sure you take your grass all the way there might be fun to do some clouds over here make it go off the page okay now if i want to make the i think i'm going to put some designs on my cow now okay i'm going to do some hearts on it but i don't want too many on the face guys because the face is going to kind of stand by itself maybe one or two okay I like these shapes Make sure you take your little shapes, repeated patterns, repeat, repeated shapes all the way to the edge because when you take something off the edge, it always looks so much more interesting. Notice how I did that. All right, check it out. Now you could do stars in the sky if you want. The stars would be like this. So your cow could be at night if you want, right? Check it out. And then um, the way that uh, they're saying to do it is to take the color pastel and um, you might want to go ahead and uh, put your color pastels up now, okay? Here we go. You walk your color pastels up over there. Then you're going to walk over to the sink and get your paints gently. Remember, because we have people, so we need to line up on a gentle way. Wait your turn. Get some paints. Please get half a cup of water right here, if you will, in the paintbrush that you think you will like, okay? And then we're gonna have some fun painting this in, girls and boys. Now you don't have to paint your cow a color of everybody else, everybody else's cow, right? You can paint your cow whatever color you wanna paint it. That's what I'm gonna do and I'm gonna surprise you with it, okay? And look at this coming on already. I'm gonna leave the, the I would leave the white part on the nose. Oh, look, I forgot to put texture on my cow. I could put, I'm gonna put texture on my cow too, look. Because my cow has hair, right? Hey, that texture is making sounds. Moo, moo. I can do it on this too. If you don't, if you want to do this, great. If you don't, no big deal. No big whoop, like I like to say, you know? You don't have to put texture like this if you don't want to on your cow, but I'm checking mine out to see if I like it, okay? Because I just think it might, I thought, uh, I think it looks kind of interesting, okay? There we go, I'll just do a little bit more. All right, so check it out, guys. Here we go. Have fun painting your cow. Leave the eyes wide. And, and you might wanna do the nose 
maybe a pink because the pink, the, the noses on cows are sometimes pink, okay? This is turning great out great already. Now, when you're finished, guys, oh, to make pink, remember, you want to do a little bit of white. And remember, guys, to make your paints work, tickle it with water. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Tickle water. Tickle like this. There we go. There we go. I've got a nice pink in here. And anywhere you put down your paint, if you make a mistake, don't worry about it. You can just dab it off, okay? Check it out. You can dab it off, and then you can go over it again in a minute, okay? All right, so just have fun. This is going to be great. And watch where getting that paint really close up to other colors might run into the other ones. So be kind of careful when you paint it, okay? I'm going to leave these spaces white on my little cow. All right, this is looking awesome. Okay, guys, so you get the idea? Have fun painting your cow. And remember, guys, when I ring the bell, that means drop off your work. Stop, look and listen. Hold your work like a lunch tray and walk it gently. Cuidado. Be with care. Put it in the rack. It has your name and teacher on it, right? You'll find it next week if it does. Otherwise, it's no name, no game. Then what you want to do is carry your paintbrush to the sink very quickly in 10 seconds. Rinse off your brush quickly, quickly, because we don't have a lot of time. Make it go up in the thing. Dump this super fast. Stack it. Gently put this back up and return to your table and start cleaning because the noise monitor is gonna let you line up soon. Okay, I hope you have fun with your Potter cow and um, the Renaissance period. Okay, bye.